All right, so let me show you the new upgrade on the machine. I have a switch that I can use as a touch-off tool to find the offset from the top of the workpiece uh, whenever I change tools. And I'll show you the code uh, towards the end of the videos, but as a demo, I have a broken end mill and I'm gonna uh, get a zero position on top of this piece of wood and then it's gonna go back to the switch, get the offset, save it, uh, and then we'll bring the tool back here to make sure that it's still at zero. We'll change the tool, get the offset from the switch, and then bring the tool back to the top of this to see if it's still at zero, right? So we're just gonna send the command to send it to zero on the Z axis, and it should rest on top of this uh, piece of wood. So let's do that. Let me bring it here. piece of aluminum is three millimeters thick. We're gonna use this to find the zero on the z-axis. And then it'll touch it twice. When it's done, it's gonna go back to the switch, get the offset. So let me move this side of the way. So we have zero and the offset. So let's uh, bring it back to the original location. And we'll send it to zero on the z-axis. It should rest on top of the tool. I mean, on top of the piece, there it is. So now we can change the tool. So this is what I removed. We're gonna change it with that. This two and two fluid end mill. We're going to touch it off. zero so let's bring it back to the top of the workpiece right, so let me focus on it and let me bring it down to zero there it is Just sitting on top of it. So let me show you how this thing works. Obviously we have the switch and the switch is connected directly to the bed of the uh, 3018. And then we have a cable going back to the controller for the Z axis. And 
on the computer. Um, let's see if I can focus here. So we have this button here to find the, the zero on Z axis. Uh, it also, once it finds the zero uh, position, it goes to the location of the switch and then probes that switch as well to get the offset. When we change the tool, we use this button uh, to go to the switch and get the offset from that location. So let's look at the actual code here for this tool. So this is the probing code. It probes it once, once a, a hundred, uh, I think it's feet per, per minute. Um, and then um, uh, it probes it a second time at a slower rate. And then it's, it sets the Z to uh, 3.05 millimeters. And this is because the block I'm using is three millimeters uh, in height. And then I store the location minus the height of the of the aluminum block uh, in this variable. So it can be any variable you want. So I'm just saving the machine Z coordinates minus the, the height of my uh, probing block. Then I go back to, I go all the way up go to the location, the X and Y location of the switch, probe the switch once, go up 4.5 millimeters, probe it a second time at a slower rate, and then calculate the offset from the workpiece to the switch by getting the machine Z coordinates minus the previous, previous uh, workpiece Z offset so that way when I change a tool, I can go to this button and do something similar. So I go to the switch location, probe it once, a second time, and then actually probe it once, go up 4.5, probe it a second time, and then from this location, I can set the offset uh, that I saved on the, my previous step. So every time I change a tool, I can just use this code to get the correct Z coordinates to the top of my workpiece. And that's it. Pretty simple. You know, obviously I have multiple buttons. Um, I have one for left and right for uh, finding the, the X coordinates and then one for finding the, the middle between the two same for front and back and then the middle going to x y or z or all of the, of the three together uh, my tool change location uh, setting the tool offset uh, for any tool if i don't use this one if i just want to do it individually or my uh, probing for the new tool so that's about it so we did is we start by first finding the top of the workpiece, getting the offset from the switch. And that way when you switch, when you change the tool, you just have to go back to the switch, get the offset, and now you have the top of the workpiece. Okay, pretty simple, enjoy.